Hey everybody, I am just checking in. It is Monday evening here. So most of the morning I worked on my blog post, my what used to be my weekend review, but is now my, um, you know, just day in the life video because um, I'm kind of, you know, showing my week in other, in other blog posts through other um, vlogs. So if that all makes sense, um, I worked on that this morning and then as afternoon set in, I got busy cleaning the upstairs first. And it was pretty easy this time because there there wasn't much of a mess. I had Jackson help me because he was home from school. He didn't really care for it a whole lot, but he, he helped. And um, then I came down and worked in the dining room. And then I worked in the um, living room here. But I did not work in the kitchen. I figured I could clean it while I was cooking dinner. So I'm going to get busy and do that. Scott will be home before long. And... Um, you know, Jackson has school tomorrow, so we got to get him all, like, done kind of early tonight and, um, get him in bed at a decent hour, which he's not going to like, but, again, he'll have to deal with that. Um, but, you know, it's been a, it seemed like it wasn't productive because, you know, I get up and I get some coffee, turn on the news and open up the laptop and get working. Started uploading the last day in the life vlog and then started writing the blog post and in the process of doing that, I took some little breaks here and there, answered some comments, answered some emails, went back to the blog post, finished that up and then posted it to all the social media and such and then it was time to get busy in my house and so you guys have seen me clean before and if I'm trying to clean really fast I'm not really filming a lot because I want to get it done I just wanted the job done today and I still got to go clean up in the kitchen some so I'm going to do that and I'm going to empty the dishwasher get the dirty dishes out of the sink um, from the boys being home yesterday and I'm sure there's like 10 ice cream bowls in there, but I'm going to get those cleaned up, make some dinner. I think, I think I'm doing BLT for Scott and bacon and pancakes for Jackson and myself because Jackson and I want pancakes. Scott's not a huge fan, so he will just have BLT and be happy. So, um, I need to get busy doing that and, um... Yeah, I'm already trying to work on tomorrow's blog post. Um, I'm trying to get ahead of the game since we're traveling this week. And it's going to take a lot to get ahead and stay ahead. So we'll see if I can manage it. Who knows? Um, but it's still kind of cold out. I have on an old sweatshirt. It's kind of like my... Um, like one of my sweaters of sorts when I get cold I throw it on I have a short sleeve t-shirt underneath and then when I get hot I take it off and I'm just like up and down all the time with that I don't have a fire going it's not going to get super cold tonight but it will get a little bit cold but nothing our heater can't take so I'm just gonna you know not worry about the um the fireplace tonight yeah not worried but I'm gonna get in there get what I need to um do to get done and um wait on scott so tonight for dinner you guys we are having simple breakfast now i am making some pancakes scott just came and made a blt with some of the bacon but jackson and i wanted pancakes so that's what i'm making i'm just getting started i got my batter and everything ready and it should be a very simple easy dinner tonight so dinner was good here's the leftovers um, we had pancakes tonight, and they were yummy. And I'm just kind of picking up. Jackson, he's playing wrong. Um, I'm just kind of picking up and getting dishes done. Um, I will show you that since I brought in more coffee cups, and I have some that you haven't even seen that I just bought. I'll show you soon. But I have lots more dishwasher, too, of my favorite mugs. Um, I cleaned out the coffee cabinet and I picked out these glasses and these are going to go in a box and I'm not going to donate them I'm going to put them up um, in case maybe 
I don't know, my daughter-in-law needs more coffee cups or um, we have a lot of company, but it is kind of decluttering because it's going to go out in the garage. I'm going to wrap them up. I'm just going to leave them up here tonight or maybe just move them over onto the freezer over there. But until I know for sure that we will not need them, like when we have a big holiday gathering, I'm just going to store them out there. And, you know, a lot of them have chips in them and are beat up. Um, and, um, you know, some of them are missing in the sets and some of them are holiday-ish. But I'm going to get rid of these and at least get them out of the kitchen. Because if I can store them in a box out in the garage, I'll keep them. Otherwise... I would be donating them in a heartbeat but you know we do have a lot of big gatherings so it's so hard to just give up a lot of stuff because you know when we have 12 15 people here going through coffee cups is something that happens so um, I am gonna put these up but they are coming out of you know the house and going into the garage and still it's kind of decluttering because we got a lot of room in the garage once I get that area cleaned up I'll have a lot more to put anything you know that I I'm not sure about getting rid of but don't really want to keep it in the house I've been totally watching the Whitney movie yeah my mom's calling right now but I have been watching this tonight good morning everybody it is about 11 a.m. here and well it's about 11 30 I got the view on Whoopi is back. She's been gone for a while. And it's like 61 degrees here. So, I got the window open and the kitty cats, aren't they beautiful, are loving it. And I've got the heat off. I'm a little bit chilly. Not bad, though. I, I like giving the cats fresh air. They really enjoy it. And most of the time, if this door ever gets open, they're right there. Like, to enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the fresh air, and... A lot of times fight with the other cats through the screens, but um, Oreo isn't anywhere to be found right now, and everybody's fine. Gabby's up there, and you can see Scott threw a blanket down. Um, he must have came down here and went to sleep, but I'm working on my Tuesday Truce blog post, and I have a lot to do today, so I gotta wake up, get it together, and get busy. So all of this is a mail that has came in, and I'm going to do a mail video and share with you guys what has come in my P.O. box. I've got a lot of it. I got my tripod and my, my um, charger in case I need it, but I got a lot, and I want to pre-record this video, so I got to get moving on it here in just a little bit, but I need to first um, work on my... Instagram daily challenges video. So that's happening now. Actually, I forgot there's more. Yeah. I can't wait to show you those. Isn't father and daughter cute? Hi. Hi, kitty cats. They're adorable sitting over there. They're enjoying that fresh air. Oh, cupcake getting sleepy. So right now it's 5 o'clock and I feel like I'm kind of, you know, doing good. I've got a lot of my work stuff done. Um, I got a video being edited right now and I also have my Tuesday Truce blog post done. It's on my blog and you can feel free to read it if you wish. Um, it's there. So, um, I still got to record my new P.O. Box video, and it's starting to get dark, and I'm undecided if I should just try to do it in the next 30 minutes. The sun is going to be setting, or set up some lights. I still haven't folded that blanket because I picking up the house is not part of it right now. Um, I've got a very specific to-do list, and deciding on to film right now or not to film is kind of like a thing of the moment. Um, that sun is going to sit, even if I open up all those blinds, I have everything over there on the table, 
and everything but I probably will just wait till it sets all the way and then film that video and um, I can edit that a little bit later I still got a pack I still got an iron I got quite a few things I need to do and I don't have a lot of time so I can't screw off too long but I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break I've been working hard my mouse this thing has a been messed up on my keyboard it's dirty too so I just got done filming my um, my latest P.O. box. You can see how messy it looks. I'm having some coffee. It's about 7 p.m. Scott's coming home. I need to clean this mess up and get busy with something else. It's time to move on to the next task. So I am busy starting to pack for our trip. And I guess he thinks he's going this time, but he's not. Yeah, you're not. Your eye needs wiped out. Come here. Put that eye out. Um, he's not going, and he's going to have to get his butt out of the suitcase. Like, right now. Come on. Let's go. Oh, God. He's a big cat. So, we are, um, in the midst of packing. Um, Scott's in the shower, and I'm just, like, starting. So, I've got to, to get busy. So, for court, I'm just going to wear these gray slacks. Um, with this gray long sleeve love shirt. I figured I might as well be comfortable and be me. I'm not going to go in in a business suit. I'm I'm not um, working for lawyers anymore. I'm going to go in as me. And I've got my best friend's bracelet that she got me for Christmas because I'm going to want her there with me. And that's how I'm taking her with me. And um, I've got out these cute little heels that I'm just going to wear with that. It's supposed to maybe be rainy. So, I'm not even going to take pantyhose because I'm just going to slide my feet right in. And then, when it's time to come home, I will go back to the hotel, take off these pants and the heels, slide on something comfy, probably leave that shirt on, and be on, my, be on our way back. So, Scott said he would iron these for me when we get there, and I'm going to let him do it. So, I'm going to get these in the suitcase. They're all checking it out. They know we're leaving now. Yeah, that's great. I also got out um, one of my gray purses because um, my little brown owl purse will just like look awful with my gray um, little outfit. So I got out a gray purse. I'm not going to change it over until Thursday morning and then I'll probably just change it back when, as soon as we get at the hotel. I like this purse. Um, it's, a, it's a nice little handbag, but um, it's got like the asymmetrical, but um, you know, I love my little owl purse right now, but I'm going to change just for, just for court. So I figure I got a good start on it right now. I got, well, it's kind of hard to tell. I got Scott's clothes, um, for court, t-shirts and boxers. Actually, I need another pair of boxers. And, um, um, I need to get him an outfit to come home in. And I got a couple pairs of sweats in the dryer going for me, but I'm going to go downstairs and fill this up with um, my um, makeup because my, some of my most used makeup is on the first floor right now. Um, I got Shanna's bracelet in there. I've been using this a lot and I really like it. It's the Josie Moran Argan Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil. Loving that. And loving the um, Dr. Denise Hydro Shield Ultra Moisturizing Face Serum. So I've been using those. I'm just trying to remember everything I want to take. I don't even want to take that much. I want to be as simple and as minimalistic as possible because, you know, we're just we're going to be mainly in the car um, and a little bit at the hotel and a little bit at court. So just packing as light as I can. But I'm going to go get makeup right now. So for dinner tonight, we are having the leftovers that we have in our refrigerator. There's two or three different things. Tonight, I'm just having some of the leftover skillet lasagna, which was fabulous, and it's delicious. So I'm going to eat this for dinner and then get ready and do that makeup. But I needed some food, so I'm going to eat and then pack makeup. So the makeup I'm taking is very minimal. I did just toss my brushes in here, but I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Two Basics Palette. I'm taking um, foundation wise the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I've got the Neutrogena Healthy Skin um, Brightening Eye um, Pencil there. I also have some bronzer and eyebrow stuff and 
um, I've grabbed um, this um, It Cosmetic CC Cream Sample that I've wore a few times now for like if we want to stop and grab a quick bite and I just want a little bit of coverage, I can slap some of this on in the car. Um, I've got my Makeup Forever HD Primer and the HD Powder. And this is one of the best, um, it's a CC cream. It's the Tarte CC Cream in Light. It's one of the best concealers out there. It's one of my favorites. It's like a, kind of like a concealer. I use it as a concealer sometimes. And let's see, um, I got a small, um, Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I like the travel size. My nails are dirty. I'll do those in a little while. And I also got the um, Maybelline Lash Stiletto because it's great for my bottom lashes. No eyeliner because that's just too harsh for morning um, in court. And just some brushes and such. Not a ton of stuff. Lip wise, I think. There we go. All I did was grab the Bare Mineral. Um, I don't can't read the color, but it's just like a, a very tinted lip gloss. Um, perfect for um, morning. And that is the only makeup I'm taking now. I'm definitely going to add in my shampoo and conditioner. And they actually fit in the bag. Look at that. I still got tons of room for soap and a razor and stuff. So this is plenty. And I'll finish filling this up and add it to the suitcase after I get done taking my bath and get everything I need to, to take up there with me. So I got the stuff ready um, for the animals. I don't have a lot to get ready because we're only going to be gone two days. So I got two cans of wet food for Cooper, some dry food in case he needs it. Same with the cats, dry food, two cans for the two days we'll be gone. And then for our house sitter, I have like all the instructions printed out here of where she can find us, our phone numbers, all of that good stuff. And then I have a pocket with her money in it and um, she can kind of help herself. And that's why I I don't have passwords. I don't, I mean, I don't care if she sees like my telephone account number because um, it's not like she's gonna log on and pay my bill. Um, I, you know, I don't think she would go through things anyway, but even if she did, it's nothing that's gonna like hurt anything. I mean, um, I actually trust her anyway, so she could go through the whole book and I wouldn't even care. Um, but um, everything is ready for them. And then over here, I still gotta get this stuff put up, um, but I, I got some stuff ready for the car trip. I got these Pringles, they'll come out of this box and just kind of be loose. When I put them in a bag, I got some of the cheese nips. Um, a couple Gatorades for Jackson. I got me some oatmeal just in case I want something at night. Got some Chex Mix. Got Jackson a Pop-Tart. I got me four of the Mighty Leaf Organic Spring Jasmine bags of tea. It's one of my favorites right now. And then I've got some sugar and some spoons because I hate opening sugar packets. It's like a pet peeve of mine. I hate it. So um, I have that stuff ready. I just have to add it um, to a bag and we're good to go. Um, there's a couple of dishes in the sink. Um, Scott said he'd wash those in the morning for me, so I'm not even going to worry about that. I will make his coffee tonight in the coffee pot that I hate, but he's going to do the dishes. So um, I'm moving right along. I'm getting there. Scott's curled up in his chair using my very comfy snowman blanket that I need to get washed tonight and enjoying some Netflix with earbuds in. So it's like quiet. There's no noise at all. So um, I'm pretty happy about that. And, you know, we're just, well, we're not doing anything. He's doing most of the driving tomorrow, so I'm just letting him kind of do his thing. And um, I'm throwing a dirty rag up, and I'll get it in a little bit. Um, I'm just, like, kind of running around like a crazy person. But little by little, I am getting there, and before I know it, it'll be time to hit the road tomorrow. Now I'm going to, I was going to take this big 31 bag, but I really don't want to empty it out because it's full of stuff and um, I'm going to take I think my vlog planner and my other planner but I'll use my backpack because I want as little as possible we're going in a car like in a new charger so I don't have a ton of room and I I love this but I'm not taking it with me this time my black goldfish has this spot on him look is that ick I don't think it is Look at it. It's on the top of his head. It's kind of hard to see. Come on. See it? 
It's like he's losing color. And he's like lost. Come on. There you go. See that? What is that? I can't tell. It just looks like he's lost color. He still looks healthy. His tail and everything. I don't know. But I don't want anything to happen to him. Aren't the fish beautiful? I think we need to get a bigger tank, obviously. But um, I think they're just gorgeous. I love all their beautiful fan tails. But see, here he comes. What is that? If you guys know or have any suggestions, let me know. I won't be able to take care of him until I get back. But I'm definitely curious to what you think. Hey, everybody. So, I am upstairs still by the suitcase trying to finish things up. Um, so, I got most of the stuff done and I'm about ready to take a bath. I've been going around like crazy, which is why I'm out of breath because I have been like scurrying all around trying to get the last minute things done so I can take a bath and I can relax. Um, I want to try to get this uploaded, um, well, saved and then uploaded so it goes live before we leave about 9 um, in the morning. So, we were going to leave at 8, but Scott said we just get caught in rush hour traffic It's you know, at some point. So he wants to leave at 9, putting us down there somewhere around 7 or 8, I'm guessing. And I'll vlog through the way, and I'll have that vlog up after we get home on Friday, I think. Um, yeah, I think, let's see, today is Wednesday, you're getting this vlog. Tomorrow you're getting a new P.O. box where I'm showing a lot of my mail a lot of things I ordered, a lot of subscriber mail, more Christmas cards. So definitely stay tuned for that. It's already recorded. i got to figure out how to save it and everything within time. But I'm getting there, and I've went down my list. I've done really good today, and now I am um, going to take a bath, and I'm going to relax, and I'm going to um, check things off last minute on my to-do list. I'm going to finish the little bit of packing I need to do, and get up and go tomorrow so I didn't kind of like finish last night's vlog I got real sleepy and <laughs> last night was so difficult with my kids it really was it was difficult as a mom because um my mom my mom is um up in Indiana and she met my daughter's boyfriend my daughter is 13 years old um her boyfriend I think is 14 I, th I guess I think and he's young and I'm not ready for it. I'm I'm so against it. I wish I could put her like in an all girls boarding school and keep her away from boys forever. Um, so that was kind of an adjustment. My mom's like, he's a really nice guy. I'm like, she's 13. I don't care how nice he is. I want them kept apart. And everybody's like advising me, you know, like, you can't do that. You can't like restrict her that much, but I certainly want to. And then in the evening, you know, Jackson had school today and last night, um, he comes to me and says, you don't have to get my stuff for school ready any longer. You don't have to get my breakfast ready and you don't have to get my clothes ready. I'm old enough. I can do it now. And so that was like, okay, they're growing up and it was a hard parenting day. It really was. And, um, you know, of course, everything going on was Zane. So it's and my oldest daughter. I talked to her. She's like battling a cold and her husband's working insane hours and she misses him. And, you know, it's just like all the kids are touching my heart right now in lots of different ways. So it's very overwhelming as a mom in my life right now. Um, but they're growing up and I have to accept that, I guess. I'm not ready for it though. Um, but I will be vlogging through Louisiana. You guys will see the hotel and all of that good stuff. Thank you for all of your kind words, encouragement, love, support, advice. I have listened to it all. And um, I don't know. I'm just like conflicted about how I feel, what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, Will I get to talk to Zane? Will I get to give him that picture? I don't know. We'll wait and see. And um, that's still something i got to do before bed is print out that note that you guys saw if you watched the last vlog and um, get it adhered to the picture. So that's going to be something I do when I get out of the bath. And I guess I'll probably show it to you tomorrow. Um, well, Friday, I guess. Um, I still got to do that. 
But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it's kind of in the middle of the week, but there's plenty of footage. So I thought I would share it with you guys. And I wish you a beautiful Wednesday and Thursday. And there'll still be videos popping up and blog posts with any luck. I've done pretty good at jumping ahead of the game, but once I get home, it's going to be hard to stay on top of that. But I'll do what I can. I'll see you guys soon. Get entered in the giveaway that is going on for the Your Tea Tiny Tea Tea Talks. It's very, very, very good for reducing bloat, for helping you lose a little bit of weight, clearing up your skin, helping your digestive system. It's a detox, but there's no laxative effect to it, so it's very easy on your body, and it is totally worth it. So get entered. You might be the one winning, so good luck to all of you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you guys again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget that you can use the button at the top to subscribe. There's other links below for my blog and you can see where to find me on social media. Also below, there's some other videos beside me and I'd love it if you followed me on Instagram. You can definitely catch a lot um, of what's going on in our lives by following me over there. We can chat, so definitely follow along. You can find me under K Jaggers. That's listed below. Bye!